What's going on everyone? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing very well. Welcome to another video. So today's video is gonna be about my spring break. So during spring break, I went to an island that's offshore of Long Beach called Catalina Island. So basically, um, during spring break, I had nothing to do. I thought it's gonna just be me staring on my iPad screen on my bed for nine days. But I got a friend, Carlos, um, who invited me to go for this trip, which is a Christian fellowship trip. At first, I, I didn't know anything. Like, I didn't know what to expect, but I just decided to go for it because who knows, I might learn something very, very interesting that I could apply in the future. So as I read the email, uh, I discovered that there's no signal on the island. So that kind of freaked me out and got me kind of nervous because I'm an Instagram addict. So the first thing in the morning when I wake up is that I always view Instagram. So I'm kind of nervous on like, what if I, I miss the mainland? What if I want to go back early, which is kind of impossible because um, to, trans to, to travel from here to Carolina Island, you need a ship. Thus, when I went to Target to buy supplies and pack for the trip the day before, I felt extremely nervous and also lazy because I was worried that I'm going to make the wrong decision. However, um, the morning before I left, I knew that this could be the right decision because I remember my purpose of life, which is to get off my comfort zone against the unknown because from what I thought a few months ago, that could be um, one great way to develop myself. So I began to have the mindset that this trip that is unknown to me could develop me mentally. So as I left the house, I took a deep breath and told myself, there's no turning back. Are we, are we late already? Uh, no, we're waiting for Steven. Alright, uh, can I get, I'm gonna get food for all, alright? Okay. And I was like, I'm not gonna read it, I just put no, and I was like, oh, wait, it says you're supposed to say yes. Yeah. He's lying. Stop. <laughs> oh yeah, you should know this about her, she's a pathological liar and a loser. Wow, Carlos, you're so mean. You see? I am not a loser, don't be mean to the freshman. You call me a loser all the time. Because you are one, how you see yourself? <laughs> Come to our cabin. We have water. <laughs> Carlos, if they all come here, we're not gonna get water. Yeah. The filter's gonna run out. We gotta keep that a secret. We gotta keep it a secret. It's we secret. gotta be better. We arrived in the island, I discovered that the location is near the shore. This got me really excited as it is better than the expectation that the camp is at the middle of the forest. Walking on the bridge, the atmosphere was so refreshing while the sounds of the wave is chilling. 
There was also a basketball court and two beach volleyball areas. I totally can't wait to try out all the activities here. Oh, Wesley, good to see you, man. Nice to see you, man. You're, you're Dominic, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice to see you, man. You know, I had worse water than this. It's denial. Is it good? It's all right. <laughs> we can fulfill from... your need. We have to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Four hours. Four times 24 is 96. Uh, 96, 100, 112 hours. Wow. <laughs> so after dinner, we went to our respective classes and I started getting nervous and jittery. And that level of nerves peaked when I had to introduce myself in front of 21 people that I barely know. Well, thankfully, I, I know two of the people there because we come from the same campus and I hang out with them several times. Thankfully, everyone was more cheerful than I expected, so that boosted my confidence in getting to know them more. They're actually pretty good for you. What? We did not you like laser optogenetics. Uh, optogenetics. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> That's part of this too. <laughs> this guy chose us violence every time. <laughs> Dark. Yes. Hey! I'm clean! I'm clean! Okay. Yeah, can I'm I get a fence? Water shoes? Absolutely, what size? Um, water sizes. Uh, shoe size. Yeah, bro, I'm freaking scared. This is my first time here. <laughs> What's your name? Wesley, what's your name? Uh, Andre. Andre, see Andre. Yeah. You'll have a blast, it's great. Oh uh, my. As I got into the water, I heard that there were sharks a bit deep below, so that kind of panicked me like a child, so I was screaming and just swimming back quickly as sharks are a big no-no for me because of the movies I watched when I was a kid. But because I want to conquer my fears, I decided to call help for two people to accompany me so I can swim with them and in case that I'm scared, they're there for me. So they brought me to the area where I could see the shark clearly, and as I see it, it wasn't that bad after all, but as I swam back with happiness and I got off the shore, I was shivering so much as it was super cold and super windy. It gets pretty cold out there. Yeah. I don't usually go out there until summertime and all Yeah. a game where we form a line and the person in the most front, let's say person A, needs to score a free throw to stay in the game. If person A misses, person A needs to find a way to score through a short range or through layups before 
the person behind him, let's say person B, scores through a free throw. If person B scores through a free throw before person A scores through a short range or layup, person A is out. But if person A is able to score before person B, person A is still in the game. Scalloped potatoes, green beans, shredded beef. It's gonna be a really good meal. It's one of my favorites. So we got two tips here. Two tips. Yep. Nice. I'm just here to confuse you. What's up? God has given me a gift, and it's in a sense just like giving it back to Him and doing it all for His glory. So during each day for mark study, every person is assigned a partner and for the first day, my partner is Tim. So me and Tim have a lot in common which makes it easier to discuss about things. What I like about him is that he has a strong determination to pursue his passion which one of them is the activities done in mark study. In addition, Tim sets high, high expectations for himself and he is serious about his work. I also have that kind of mindset, therefore, the experiences he shares are very relatable to him and I was able to learn from him too. In addition, Tim has a mentor called Steven who helped me with more advice. And turns out, he also has lost the expectations which is similar to me and Tim. And Steven gave me one good advice which is don't base happiness on something that's beyond one's control. So like getting an A plus money or fame. I should instead base it on something that I can rely for on forever such as my hard work towards an assignment or learning new things when I fail. And for Steven, he relies happiness on being a Christian. I love it. I love it. I love this 
Alrighty, so just finished the volleyball tournament. Um, somehow I managed to play in two different teams. I don't know how nobody found out about it. So the first team I played, um, it was called Valve Scouts, I think. Um, we got into semifinals, we lost badly um, on that on the semifinal match. The second team was I forgot the name of the second team, but like in one of the games, um, we were playing against a really strong team and we lost 10-12. Unfortunately, they get recorded. So in that game, I managed to su successfully um, perform a spike, which felt really good. It's just really, really frustrating that my phone didn't work. It was I literally set my phone already, and like somehow I just didn't get recorded. So yeah, right now I'm just gonna get some rest. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. I have a lot of fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> So for today, my partner is Ashlyn and I've known her for 6 months. So this day was the hardest when it comes to taking out a lesson to apply based on the passage. I even struggled to understand the passage itself because I'm not used to being focused when reading slightly longer essays. However, Ashlyn was able to help simplify the complicated things I struggled with which helped me understand the passage itself. But we still need to find the lesson we want to apply based on the passage. Thus, it took us 4 hours, so we kind of exceeded the quiet hour, so we finished everything by 11.40pm and doing this and staying long while having the persistence made me very proud of myself as I justified that I don't want to give up which could be a source of motivation during hardships in the future, especially during my spring quarter. And I feel like a lot of the comments you've made and a lot of the questions you've asked have actually been like really significant because sometimes we need to get out of our like our head in like our Christianity and actually like seek from the outside first and I feel like that's what you offer because yeah, like the great thing is like for a lot of Christians we think we have like an understanding of how things play out but for you you're just coming in trying to learn and so like you actually don't have any understanding and you're just like I just want to understand yeah so you ask more you know you yeah. ask more questions and you're more curious and well, and that's actually really great and yeah as you go through this journey I hope that like that never goes away thank you so much Peter yeah, so, all right, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you 
Yeah. For a lot of things, but yeah, I'm just like proud of you for staying and. So today, I was partnered with Sarah Jane, who is a really cool person. She's extremely supportive during moments when I need help or when I come up with ideas. In addition, me and her were able to work together really well, which made us come up with ideas that I never expected I'm gonna come up with if I work alone. In addition, Sarah Jane gave an amazing advice on being a YouTuber, which is to have fun and foolishness. So one time, she came up with a video idea that many people thought it was foolish. However, she just went for it, had fun, and in the end, she had a lot of likes and views and many people liked her video. So shout out to her and please subscribe to her channel. So the link to her channel is down below in the description. That's amazing. Some resistance training there. backwards right now and I think that for now it's slightly easier than walking forwards because my ankle is really sore I couldn't feel it anymore still a bit far from the top but I guess closer than before as you can see over here we went kind of far we were over there on the yellow ground until like over there the view is very beautiful Oh, it's kind of dangerous. There's these kind of stuff that I'm not seeing if I walk backwards. So yeah, top is really close actually. Good work. Good work. Thank you, man. I'm Bob. I'm, I'm Wesley. I see you. Wesley. Good to meet you. Man. Yeah. Good work. Thank you.
stop, I was walking with Manny, who's from UC Santa Barbara, and we had an interesting chat about multiple topics. It started from academics and career to teaching me more about being a Christian. One thing that I would love to take away is him telling me that we are never alone. God is always here for us. In addition, there was some signal on the top of the mountain, so I was able to text my parents and see my grades from winter quarter. And thankfully, the grades were not as bad as I thought, so it gave me a sigh of relief and one less thing to worry about. Yeah. Oh snap. <laughs> the rock. Just, just look in his bag. Nice. Rocks. Just pure rocks. It's about that. It's about what? <laughs> Did you carry out. anything else? Only this. You're crazy, man. Yep. You're crazy. Pure rocks. The Wayne Johnson. Just straight rocks, dude. Not an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 4.4 bro. Homie growing. said no gains, bro. I gotta. But homie said I gotta get some gains. No pain, no gain. No yes, pain. sir. <laughs> <laughs> no break. Bro. Oh. Nice. <laughs> you excited, Dominic? Excited for the fear? There you go. Oh, it looks good. It's good, eh, Mel? Enjoying it? <laughs> Alrighty, so right now it's 1.38 a.m. I'm super duper tired. It's been a very long day. Uh, my ankle is very sore from the hike and my brain is really tired from from grinding on trying to understand the readings. So just gonna go to bed right now and good night. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep, bro. <laughs> Here, let me fix it real quick. Oi. <laughs> Welcome to our uh, Catalina Amphitheater. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 right, seen. Right, so during the last day, I was paired up with Ethan, who comes from the same university as me, but I've never met him before. So by this day, I was already very tired, which led me to struggle when interpreting the passage. This could be because I didn't have enough sleep as for the past few nights during the trip, I've only slept for 4 to 5 hours. However, I'm thankful that Ethan is able to help me with trying to understand the passage and bring in important contacts from the Bible. So Ethan taught me an important lesson, which is that the main gift is that God has a perfect plan for our life and that as long as we do our part, work hard and obey God, He'll take care of us. So if things don't go our way, it's part of God's plan to help us improve. Baptism is really a sign or a symbol 
of something that's already taken place. It's a public proclamation to others that where, where we can celebrate together about something God has already done in us, and we share in that moment, and it's a visible sign. Anointing is a similar thing. We just gotta make sure you know. Yeah, you don't yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. for safety reasons. We don't want your phone to get wet. As you are doing it. Right, one, two, three. One, two, three. Char! Hi, what's up? That's charge on you! <laughs> oh. Oh. No, wait, Emily! I have your Go on, Emily! Go on, Emily! Go on, Emily! <laughs> 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 What a fail. What a fail. What a fail. <laughs> We're doing like some photo shoot and just like some random <laughs> paddle board just came into it. Don't hurt Whoa. So guys, right now it's 3.25 p.m. The water front's gonna close in five minutes. So unfortunately, today's the last day to be able to paddle or do activities in the wall in the waterfront so i'm just gonna enjoy the last five minutes over here with many people over there enjoying their time causing drama hello say hi to the vlog hello hello oh oh we got tim over here dude i'm just gonna pick a fight with everybody yeah this guy this guy is choosing violence at least he's not choosing violence on me because if he chose violence on me then my phone is dead but other than that, out of the drama and the violence and the jokes, we get this beautiful scenery over here that I can enjoy for only five minutes. Inspector Tim right here. Well, we got, we got Inspector Tim right here. You were born in August? I'm born in Everyone, congratulations. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm proud of all of you because I feel like every one of you put in uh, as much work as, 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 as you can get. Um, uh, it's been a blessing to have you all yeah, be my first mark study. This was so cool, this was so fun.
Oh, I was going to tell you guys that we're, a group of us are hiking to the cross for sunset, 620. If you guys want to come in the morning. Sunrise, sorry. At the bridge at 620. If you guys want to come. Yes, I would love to see you. Oh, it's misty. Alrighty, so it looks like um, there's no sunrise. The weather is kind of poor, the visibility. Well, at least now I have some time to um, pack because I haven't completely packed. I still have a few stuff. Oh, the bell's ringing. It's breakfast, so uh, we're leaving in one hour and ten minutes. So that's a in a very very short time. It's really unfortunate. Maybe I said it already. So maybe I hope to come here again next time um, during fall, so I can actually watch the beautiful sunrise or sunset at the cross, which is over there just now. Hopefully to get a time lapse for that. I couldn't bring my tripod today because. Um, I packed already um, the tripod so I don't want to unpack and pack again because it's going to consume a lot of time so right now I'm going to see you in the boat Considering that I come from a different background as I'm a Buddhist, it was more difficult for me to click to the important lesson of the Mark studies. However, I'm new here so it makes sense. Therefore, I'll have to be consistent in these Bible studies so that the lessons will click into my head more smoothly in the future. But one part that stands out to me is the pyramid on how to interpret the passages and get a lesson from it. So the pyramid could be applied to real life when observing myself which will help me with self-development. I thought that leaving Catalina Island would give me a feeling of happiness and freedom because I get to go back to Instagram and interact with people who I haven't contacted for the past 5 days. However, it turned out to be extremely sad as I had to say my goodbyes to everyone who supported me and welcomed me with open hands to their group. This is the biggest amount of support I've received from a group of people that I've never met before. And for that, I'm so grateful that I got to meet these amazing people. I really hope that sometime I'll get to meet them. Even though we are separated in different universities, we are part of one big group that went through this thrilling journey together. I would also like to thank the hospitality team for feeding us with extremely delicious food. Without you guys, I don't think the trip would be this comfortable. If one time in the future, I recall back to the best moments of college life, this trip is unquestionably one of them.